guys, welcome back to Life, Liberty, and Adventures. We are on our next adventure, which is the two mile for ten mile run. Ten, ten, ten mile for two mile. The ten miles for two mile Jeep run. There we go. And that ten, times ten miles for two mile Jeep run. And this is a fundraiser event that's benefiting the Two Mile Run Park that is in, I guess, is this in Franklin that we're going? Franklin, so, yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah, this is a, a first time for us doing this event. And uh, there supposedly is a woods trail and a scenic trail. And one of them is a little bit more difficult than the other, I guess. And I think the the scenic trail is one for people that don't really want to go off-road or haven't before and it's open to all jeeps mm -hmm. and the woods trail are a little more technical and difficult but still I mean the requirements for that trail aren't very stringent right you don't have to have a winch you know so it's can't be that bad Almost there. In 800 feet, turn left. <laughs> That's a good question. Turn left, then your destination will be on the left. Really? <laughs> I didn't have any sort of directions to get to this place, so I had to Google Two Mile Park, and this is where it took me. And we will do our best to answer any and all questions that you have. So, apparently this place has three trails, North Trail, South Trail, and a scenic, scenic Trail. Scenic is obviously the easiest. South Trail is the one that we're in line for. Which is the next hardest, and then the North is the hardest trail. Here we go. And why are you choosing not to air down? Just because I don't, she said they recommend it, but they, but it's not a requirement. Okay. And look, we're, we're leaving already. I just don't have yeah. time to do that. Yeah. So. Okay. Sorry. It's going to be fun. I feel like I've seen this Jeep in front of us before. Thank you. There's Kent. This green one in front of us is not aired down either. No.
supposed to be when you go into four mode. Yeah. You guys didn't come up last year, did you? No. no. Okay. No. This trail's not bad at all. The North Trail is a little more technical, but it's gorgeous scenery. It's gorgeous. And make sure okay. yeah, you go on the scenic too, because you stop like we're going to stop. We won't stop. We'll go past the dam flats and then the overlook. They stop there for like 10 minutes for photo ops. So make sure you do okay. that. Okay. Cool. So. Sorry, Denise. So what do you think, babe? You excited? Heck yeah. This is awesome. We got it in four low. We just got in the dirt. It took us it took us a little while to figure things out this morning. I think some of it was just that it was an early morning <laughs> and we were tired. And I think some of it was just that we hadn't picked up our registration packet in advance. So we were kind of confused. Yeah, we're, I'm not going to drive an hour and a half just to pick up the packet and then go home again. On, right. We could have done that on Friday, but yeah, it's way out of our way to pick yeah. up the packet. So it was a little confusing, but I think we got our ducks in a row. Yeah, I think we're good now. And confusing, you know, means because uh, just the, there was no signage, you know, getting close to the event, like right. where it actually was. Um, you know, there's no real well, there was description. The address that I used on my phone for the you know, Google Maps on my phone took us to a boat launch inside the park, but there was no signage anywhere around there like Jeep event. Mm -hmm. And then you couldn't see any other Jeeps around, you know, that were going in the same spot or the same event. So it was like, where is everybody? Right. You know? And even the address, now when Roseanne uh, did the address with her phone, it took us around the corner, and all of a sudden there's the whole event. Right. But my phone, the same address, took us to the boat launch. So go figure. Mm -hmm. But we found it. We found it. <laughs> We're here. We're on We're the here. Trails. Oof. These are interesting. So funny that we're on a brand new trail. And yeah, it's easy so far. But <laughs> Steve's sitting here chatting away <laughs> while he's driving on a brand new trail. If I was driving, I would have had my I would have been white knuckled and I would have been <laughs> like, shh, I can't I can't see where I'm going. I can't <laughs> talk right now. <laughs> Just goes to show he's good at this. Well, that remains to be seen. We <laughs> just started the trail. We did just start the trail. It's beautiful out here, though. Lots of uh, it's a cool scenery. use this for its purpose. <laughs>
so far it appears like it's just a, you know, a dirt trail going back through the woods. Um, one little hill climb there, it's not difficult at all. But obviously we just started, so. We did just start. are a little close. Yeah, things are a little, a little tight in here. I'm going to take the pillow down for a second. So I can help guide you. I'm taking your Jeep through a trail like this? Um, yeah, I guess. I guess it is, because it's always been my Jeep on these back road trails, trails like this. I mean, we did that marine uh, trail ride, but that was just like a drive through the woods. It wasn't really Right, it wasn't anything like this. Anything like this. So this trail ride is super fun, but very bouncy. <laughs> it probably would have been less bouncy if I would have had the time to air the tires down. <laughs> is that why I'm getting a little bit motion That's sick? That's why you're probably getting a little motion sickness. Because <laughs> the tires at a low air pressure would absorb the bounciness. But. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm surviving. A little bit of you'll, peppermint. You'll make it. Making it all better. All right, we survived the first ride on the South Trail. Now we are headed out on North Trail. Not really sure what we're getting ourselves into on this one. We're told it's a little bit more technical. So we shall see.
Yeah. Sure could. Now we're getting some mud. Oh, yeah. I can hear it switching. Going through that mud where you like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> More mud to clean up. Oh, well, that's not nothing <laughs> at all. I know. Now, if we get to something that looks like the phantom mud pit, I'll be like, shit. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> How long did it take you to hose your Jeep off? Hours. <laughs> Hours. <laughs> I lost count. Yeah, you guys probably saw the video of him underneath the white Sahara uh, getting the mud off of that with his power washer. Well, he had to do the same thing with this one. Yeah, I did the same thing on my Jeep. We just didn't get video of it, or did you? I got a little bit. Did you get a little bit? We are bouncing all over the place. <laughs> If we would have had more time, I would have aired down. Probably like 20 psi, but I mean, as soon as we got in the staging lane, we sat for like a minute and then they took off, so I didn't have time to do that. Yeah. We would have, you know, had to sit and wait, uh, air down, and then get in the staging lane. They didn't want us to get in the staging lane if we were gonna. Yeah. Oof. We're good. That was some. Damn good driving right there, babe. <laughs> but I did it while I was talking. Yeah, you did. I think I had like two inches to the tree on this side on my tires. It looked probably about maybe three or four on your side, maybe. Do you think it's all that passenger training you've had while I've been driving in my Jeep? <laughs> I'm just totally kidding. He's a farmer. He could he could drive anything in any space and and do well with it, huh? He's got wheels and an engine in it and I can drive it. Yeah. Now, my DIY tire inflation kit, the four tire system, I can use that to air down everything as well. So I need to get on that and get that built. Because I can air them all up or open the valves and just to air them all down to whatever PSI, then they're all going to be equal. There's kits out there you can buy to do that, but I like doing things myself. That's what makes you so cool. So, maybe a little more expensive, but I can make it the way I want it to. So that video will come in, be coming up pretty soon. And you'll have that ready for our uh, Ocean City Jeep Week, right? That's the plan. Oh, oh, a little bit of a, a little creek, creek crossing. A little creek crossing. Nothing too serious here. I think I can manage this. <laughs> I don't know, you're pretty inexperienced with the whole with creek, creek crossing, crossing thing. <laughs> I think you can manage it.
like somebody scrubbed against that thing, yeah, but... Uh, probably when it gets muddy out here, they slide. Kicking ass, babe. Nice job. Just winging it. That's all you can do when you're out here. Pretty much. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned about driving on trails. Once, once you are on the trail, there's no turning back. <laughs> the only way to get off is just navigate each obstacle as you hit it. <laughs> Pretty much. Just keep moving forward. <laughs> yep. And also watch the guy in front of you. You know, and if he makes it, do what he did. And if he doesn't, don't do what he did. Right. <laughs> this really has been a booty bouncer today. <laughs> Do I need to get a sticker like that for my baby <laughs> bouncer? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> and what do you think so far, babe? Uh, okay. Technical? There was a, a few spots that were a little more technical and uh, tighter clearances on both sides of the Jeep and uh, a lot more rocky. Um, but uh, I had, think I had some. Awesome. I think I had to change direction, what, twice? Yeah. A little back up twice. Yeah, his front but fender was going to hit a tree twice, and so we had to back up. Yeah, but. I'd rather not hit a tree with my Jeep, so. Um, but overall, I mean, yeah, over, the trail overall was almost the same as the south one, but there were a few spots. We're not, I mean, we're not actually done yet, but. There were a few spots that were a little more challenging um, to go over, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't like a white knuckle, you know, near death experience. It wasn't anything that bad. No, but definitely interesting and uh, challenging spots, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but he did awesome. I knew he would. There were a few times I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're driving and not me because I would be freaking out <laughs> if I was driving. But he did awesome and is still doing awesome because as you can see, we are still riding. My guess is we're getting close to the end. Probably because this is pretty yeah. uh, calm terrain. So we are on the scenic trail now. And my understanding is we've seen some of the scenic trail already with the other trails that we've been on. So we'll see how it goes. But, but this is the easiest one, so yeah. nothing real challenging here apparently. Right. So far, this scenery looks like all the other scenery we've seen, you know? Uh-huh. I'm thinking maybe that's why uh, there wasn't a big line for it. glad that you drove <clears throat> your Jeep for all of these trails because this is an opportunity for you to get, you know, the experience of being off-road in your Jeep. Yeah. And it is fun being a uh, passenger. Is it? Mm -hmm. A co-pilot. 
I get to enjoy it without the stress. Well, there is a little bit of stress because I, you know, obviously don't want you to have a bad jeeping day. Mm -hmm. But But I don't have the, you know, the worry on my shoulders of whether or not I'm gonna hit a tree. <laughs> very satisfying about navigating through stuff like this and then you know coming out of it on the other side absolutely without any like damage or problems mm -hmm. and just knowing that you know you were able to do it and it was fun people in a regular car or pickup truck you know going through this stuff they'd be like mm -hmm the heck is wrong with you for wanting to do that stuff? Right. Well, when your vehicle's capable of it, why not? Yep. It's like having a Corvette or a Viper or something and never actually taking it to a racetrack. Mm -hmm. Did we go around this side mm -hmm. before? No. Yeah. That we've been on this before. That was it. We just finished up two mile, four mile, ten mile. <laughs> ten mile, it? four, two mile county park <laughs> ride, trail ride, <laughs> benefit trail ride. I don't know why we can't remember the name of this thing. Anyway, it was super cool. Lots of great views. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Some great trails. What was your favorite trail? It was so cool. I, I really liked the North Trail. Um, it was challenging and uh, there were a couple moments where my four-door Jeep was probably a little bit too big for some of the turns, but um, but he did awesome. Backed up uh, just a little bit and corrected and got through them. But yeah, it was cool. Uh -huh. Challenging parts, a little bit of mud, not much. The Jeep's, you know, not really that dirty compared to Phantom. So, what's our next adventure? Ocean City. Ocean City. Ocean City Jeep. Invasion, I guess it's called, or Jeep Beach Week? Jeep, Jeep Week. Jeep Week. Oceans. <laughs>
We've been up since 4.30 this morning. <laughs> Ocean City Jeep Week is next we in August. We do need a nap. <laughs> but not while we're driving back. <laughs> not while we're driving. <laughs> All right. So that's it for now. Thanks, as always, for watching. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And give us a like. Leave us a comment. And we'll catch you guys later for our next adventure. See you on the next adventure. See ya.